cakap tu? Apa maksud itu? What do, what do you mean by first we build people, then we build car? Former chairman of Toyota. Ah, Akilah, apa dia? First we build people, then we build car. Translate direct uh, pun tak apalah. Uh, ikut pemahaman saya, uh, before kita nak buat satu benda, kita kena betulkan diri dulu macam tu. Hmm, okay. Kita betul betul dulu. Kita bina manusia dulu sebelum kita bina kereta. Bila kita kata kita bina manusia ni. Okay. That means you are going to equip people working in your company. Dia tiga je. Kita kena selalu fikir. Eh. Apa-apa kamu buat pun kamu kena fikir ni tiga je. Knowledge, skills, attitude. The best, the most important is attitude. The most important is attitude. Attitude means your perception of uh, life, work, okay? Attitude. Kalau datang lambat, datang lambat dia tu, saya senang je. Saya test student senang je. Kamu masuk kelas saya. Kalau kamu datang setiap kali lambat je, memang saya cross kamu lah. Out. Because your attitude towards learning is um, not to the expectation. Betul tak Akilah? Kalau kita datang punya pelajar, kita datang kelas pukul 9, pukul 9.20 saya sampai. Macam mana? Cikgu tu depan tu, bukannya apa ni orang lain. Sama juga eh, dalam kehidupan. Eh. Yang ni baru kendian, eh, knowledge uh, dengan skills. But of course you need knowledge as well. So they build this. They build this so-called uh, what do apa ni the abilities to solve problem for example they have this process they teach their employees or how standard process standard process okay first you have to clarify the problem and they go for training they go for every employee must understand this mesti pass lah benda ni kalau tak pass eight step problem solving ni then you tak layak jadi Toyota punya boleh lah jadi worker je lah you nak naik jadi manager ke kerana dia rank and file. Rank and file in companies is that they can move up the ladder. They can go from foreman to assistant manager to managers to general managers. So this is Toyota business practice. That means it is a way in which they solve problems. Problems is embedded in apa ni memang tak boleh elak. Kalau kamu kata saya nak kerja tempat kerja yang tak ada masalah, carilah sendiri kerja tempat hilang ke ataupun tempat yang tak ada masalah. Jadi jadi masalah ni memang ada. Semua tempat kerja ada masalah. Tapi cara kita menyelesaikan masalah itu yang penting. Okay, that's why Toyota provide this. So, so this it steps from solving with uh, provide drive and dedication acting as motivational guidelines sampai kepada ni eh see countermeasures through develop countermeasures macam sekarang lah pandemik covid apa countermeasure dia saya pun tak faham lah countermeasure ni saya sebagai engineer kan saya tak faham apa apa dia punya countermeasure countermeasure dia apa ah ku ku junjian apa countermeasure sekarang tahu tak countermeasure Tindak balas. Uh, kita kita pasti. Counter measure atau tak counter measure? Tindakan untuk menyelesaikan masalah. Uh, tak. Uh, punca masalahnya adalah apa? Punca pun tak kenal pasti. <laughs> punca hmm, macam macam mana face problem ah itu attitude untuk macam mana face problem macam mana kita punya attitude to face problem as well as the knowledge uh, of uh, the knowledge in which we have to solve the problem okay anyway and any question so far ada sebarang soalan yang apa sorry prof Yeah. Boleh saya tanya, boleh saya tanya uh, in regards to uh, tadi Prof uh, the cerita tentang just uh, just in time. Mm -hmm. So but there's one thing that is like um, in my head is regarding mass production. Because mm -hmm. uh, we are told that if there is mass production then we are able to save cost. Mm -hmm. Right, it's something like a lot of companies have um, built their factories in China. 
Mm-hmm. So everything, all the prices have gone down. But mm-hmm. it seems to contradict to Toyota's uh, concept whereby you build um, according to the pool concept. Mm-hmm. So um, is it possible that you can give a little bit more elaboration? How does it contradict to uh, the mass production concept? Mass production, when, okay, when you say mass production, it means that you, you build to stock. Nah. You build to stock, that means you make uh, products, whether it is going to be sell or not going to be sold, it's, it's mass, lah. you produce again. And then you keep the, you know, the inventory of the finished good. But, but the finished good that you mass produce is probably uh, not selling or not, not being uh, demanded by customers. So why, why you want to make products which are not demanded by customers? That is, you know, mass production. Man. Or even, for that matter, make to stop. Man. Shouldn't you make whenever there is, uh, you know, or you predict your order for the year. Uh, you predict that in, in, in uh, Toyota, we call it uh, Junka. <clears throat> in uh, Toyota, I didn't explain that. Okay. Uh, we call that as uh, Pinyal, uh, we call it as Hei Junka. Hei Junka means uh, level production. <clears throat> so in, in mass production, it's not totally mass production, it's actually level production. For example, you based on the year's uh, forecast, okay, even Toyota also have forecast that for car industry, nation production uh, capacity, not capacity, volume, uh, total industry volume is 600,000 minus trucks and so on, probably around 300,000. Uh. So this, this uh, what we call prediction volume, for example, you say I'm going to have a 50% share. So I'm going to produce 150,000 cars for the year. So it's going to be level according to the months of the year. So you're not producing it simply the amount. You are producing according to the forecast and you predict for that particular month, for example, Chinese New Year coming up in January, there is a 5,000 demand. So it's not just mass production, just Mass production is costly, very costly because you just produce and uh, you know you say economies of scale. What lah? What what economy of scale? Tapi tak jual. And then the thing that uh, you know you stop up the quality deteriorate. The quality become you know uh, worse or even that that stock is cost cost inventory not sold. There is the Cost of goods sold have already been paid. You don't have the income, no revenue, no revenue because it's not sold. So you need to, you know, uh, have this level production. You're thinking in production we do that in production. Okay. Thank you, Prof. So that means like um, mass production in summary doesn't actually really save costs, but no, sometimes no. it affects our cash flow also, right? Exactly. exactly. Yeah. Thank you, Prof. Exactly. Thank you. Okay. So let me just go a bit faster. I think it's already one hour. That's why I say I need five hours. You don't believe me. <clears throat> um, so in Toyota, that's related to that problem solving. They, they, they have this uh, so-called scientific problem solving test. Now, okay. And they have this uh, so problem at least anywhere. Current uh, situation versus ideal situation. Right, there is a gap, then there's a problem. But the biggest problem is that when someone say that he has no problem. So having no problem is the biggest problem of all. If you go to you know any uh, any company or any place, tanya kawan ni ada problem, masalah tak ada masalah. Bohong. Kalau kamu tanya saya pun ada masalah, ada masalah, masalah keluarga masalah, tapi boleh boleh urus lah kan? Ah, akilah ada masalah. Masalah tak boleh kampung. Saya masalah Aduh. tak boleh. Masalah tak boleh rentah negeri ni. Saya memang masalah besar ni. Tak boleh rentah negeri saya pun letih. Tak boleh rentah. Lepas tu tak boleh rentah negara pula tu. Boleh rentah tapi dia pun belum buka lagi kan. Untuk ni. So you can't solve to this problem. The same level of thinking you were at when you created them. Or you faced them. Like COVID. COVID 2019. We faced the problem. And then we lock down, open up, lock down, open up. You think we will solve the problem? Never. We will not solve the problem. 
I guarantee you. Because our thinking is, okay, by by menghalang hentan dia, kita uh, mengelakkan dia. Saya ingat ni, tak, 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 tak suju, itu pulang pada kamu. So you can't solve to this problem at the same level of thinking you were when you faced with that problem. That's Albert Einstein. Okay, the next important thing that I need to um, explain to you is actually waste. Eh? Waste, very easy. Waste, you can find anywhere. And in terms of uh, TPS, when we say waste, anything that does not add value, eh? anything, apa-apa saja yang tak tambah, tambah nilai, nilai ni apa? Kita buat satu kerja tu, dia berfaedah, benefit. So you spend uh, one hour main game. It's not value added. Sorry, <laughs> that's my principle lah. You know, you're just wasting time. Sama dekat kilang. Okay, bahan kita beli, uh, apa ni, uh, batu banyak yang scrap. Waste, scrap always. So you can see later on that, this non-value added needs to be, the focus of elimination in lean is this non-value added. Not here. No, you try to reduce value added. Squeeze them. Konon you kata improve efficiency. Tapi you menyusahkan orang. So, tambah kerja lagi. Masa 8 jam patut buat kerja, tolak. 3 jam, cuba buat 5 jam. Mana boleh manusia? Mati je. Eh? Lala ada kerja 24 jam. Macam sekarang online punya ni lah. Saya terasa orang nak online punya kerja ni, orang kerja 24 jam. Betul? Tak percaya eh? Okay. Right. So, waste is, does, it doesn't, doesn't add value. Okay, what are the things that doesn't add value? So you don't that. You want to do that. So these are seven ways. You must memorize this. You must know this. That in any uh, what we call processes, you will have overproduction. That's what the data is about. Yeah? Mass production, overproduction. To produce sooner, faster, or in greater quantities than customer demand. Inventory, raw material, which are not having value added. Waiting time, okay? And then uh, waste of motion. Motion doesn't mean working. Eh? Motion bergerak, tapi tak semestinya bekerja. Eh? Tolak troli kosong. Tolak troli kosong daripada bangunan ni ke bangunan tu. Tolak troli, tapi tak ada hasil, tak ada apa. Selainkan troli tu dah dihantar barang lah. Eh? Okay, tu ada bangunan baru tu. Bangunan yang lagi satu. Eh? And then transportation. Rework, uh, this is the, you know, very easy to see in uh, rework. Over processing, processing beyond the standard required by the customer. Macam like dekat universiti lah, universiti dah isi borang online. Lepas tu print borang claim. Borang claim, borang claim isi online. Lepas tu print lagi sekali, hantar yang apa ni, yang apa ni uh, dah, dah isi online. So that is, it's over processing. Sign pada tiap-tiap muka surat. Over processing, nak buat apa sign muka tiap-tiap muka surat. Sign the first page, enough. Trust the person. You trust the person, sign the first page. Okay. Macam no, macam no. Lah. And another wasted uh, effort, not uh, waste, another kind of waste that recently being highlighted is the non-utilization of talent. Brain, lah, basically. Brain. Okay. If you do not use your talent, you don't use your brain, that's a waste. Because Everyone in the company can have a lot of ideas. It's only that whether you want to, uh, uh, betul lah, double handling is a no-no in Lean. Exactly, you know, double handling. So these are ways, you know, it's a lot of things. Okay, I can go on and on. Okay. And in, 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 uh, in the concept of uh, production also, and also in other work, in all work, there is three moves. In Japanese, muri, muda, muri, mura, muda. Muda, I would explain it now. Muda is waste. Okay. Muri. Muri is something which is impossible. Impossible to do. Carry heavy weight. Impossible. And then expect to carry the weight for eight hours. Impossible. Or movement of, you know, uh, what do you call, uh, workers. Eh? movement um, so you have to ni dia punya ni lah muri is unreadable burden murah is uneven loads 
unlevel load workload this worker kerja banyak this worker tu murah murah of course and another thing is uh, mudah so to me you have to tackle these three things at the same time in lean in production system or in lean or in work you have to tackle these three at the same time muri muri is unreasonable burden stress uh, stress stress banyak sangat bawa berat-berat ha? bawa berat-berat ni stress lah muri okay and according to our religion islam okay some of you probably not there is a quran okay wa atizal qurba haqqahu wal miskina wa ibn sabil wa la tubazzir wa la tubazzir tabziran dan jangan bazir zabir okay do not spend wastefully Sesungguhnya indal mubazirin orang-orang yang bazir kanu sesungguhnya dia nak ehwan ehwan ni kawan ehwan ehwan siapa ehwan ehwan sahabat syaitan jadi orang bazir ni kalau saya cerita orang Jepun dulu saya pernah training di Jepun pagi breakfast dia makan nasi dalam bowl Lepas makan nasi tu, dia tuangnya air tea, tea Cina, tea Jepun tu, dan dia, dia buang apa ni bekas-bekas nasi yang tertinggal dalam dalam bowl tu dan minum. Maksudnya tak ada waste. Dalam Jepun dia panggil mot tai nai. Mot tai nai. Bazir. Jadi saya dari kecil diajak oleh bapak saya supaya kutip nasi yang jatuh dari pinggan dan makan. Jangan tinggal sebutir pun nasi atas pinggan. Saya dididik dari bapa saya hingga hari ini dan saya didik anak saya makan nasi jangan tinggal sebutir pun. Kerana sebutir tu penat petani buat tanam kita senang senang buang bagi dan ambil wuduk pun ada dalam Islam. Dah sejam dah tak sempat ni. Okay, Kaizen is not only continuous improvement, it is more than that, it's actually every day, everywhere, everyone working. Kaizen, eh? Kaizen. It comes from the, the Chinese characters, uh, Kaizen, change good. So every day we have to think about uh, doing Kaizen. Kaizen is to find better ways of doing things. Faster way, cheaper way. Faster ni bukan nak suruh dia kerja dengan laju, tidak. Kerja dengan keadaan yang dia, rhythm dia. Okay, rhythm dia. Saya skip. Hmm. The secret behind Japanese productivity is Kaizen. Visitors to factories in Japan often remark how carefully and neatly the tools and working materials are arranged. This is actually the key to efficiency. When tools are laid out clearly and conveniently, no work time is wasted looking for them. And logical pre-positioning of materials reduces time spent transporting them to workspaces, lessening the danger of collisions en route. Such techniques for improving work efficiency and safety are known as Kaizen, a Japanese word that simply means to do something better. Our workers on the shop floor are always thinking of ways to improve the workflow, revising procedures so they take two steps instead of three or need five seconds instead of ten. Many tiny improvements add up to give a big result. That's Kaizen. The idea of Kaizen began in automobile plants about 70 years ago. We'd been doing it that way for years and never saw it was a problem. Once they realized the weakness in their system, they decided to change from a linear flow to one where small groups of workers each complete batches of sandwiches. After rearranging workbenches and assigning multiple processes to each worker, the time required fell sharply and productivity went up. Now we rarely have to stand about waiting for materials. It's really improved the job. This factory employs a large number of workers with disabilities. The Kaizen approach paid off here too. A major goal of our Kaizen effort was to make it easier and more comfortable for the workers to do their jobs. 
Trash receptacles were redesigned for easy transportation. And various assistive devices allow people with visual impairments to operate equipment. This worker devised the Kaizen idea of stabilizing hanging screwdrivers with flexible cords. His improvement reduces wasteful movement, and since the drivers are used thousands of times a day, saves as much as 200 minutes of work time a month. It really feels like you've accomplished something when you come up with a new technique like this. We all enjoy thinking and working together to make our job better. Spares and supplies are arranged for easy handling by the visually challenged. For example, these tapes are arranged by type, and large paper discs indicate by touch when only one is left. And the disc's bright printed design delivers the information clearly to sighted people too. Car jacks allow work tables to be raised and lowered to match the height of each wheelchair. This idea was so helpful, jacks have been fitted to... Dalam video tadi pun kamu dapat tengok kan 5S. Actually 5S is also one of the foundation within a lean organization. You cannot achieve high quality or even uh, you know synchronization without having 5S. Seri, Seton, Seto, Sekesu, Sisuke. Pernah dengar? Ke tak pernah dengar? First time dengar? Ha? First time dengar? 5S. 5S in visual management. Uh, visual management. Yes, pernah dengar. Uh, Okay, tapi lepas ni boleh baca lah, kamu dah tahu kan. So it eliminate lah, okay, lebih lebih macam macam ni. Eliminate the waste of looking for searching for equipment. Kalau kata ada 5S, you search. Barang betul apa? Looking and searching time wasted. Tak pernah. Tak pernah dengar lagi lah. Ha. Jadi lepas ni boleh amalkan 5S. Pertama sekali kita bundakan dekat meja belajar kita. Ha. Kita buat 5S, meja belajar kita. Okay, visualization. I'm going to okay. Let, let's see this video. Eh? I'm just because this is before. Eh? So the the concept is called the eye for waste. Kita mesti mempunyai mata yang boleh nengok waste in hand motion, waste in eye searching, waste in part location, waste in walking, waste in holding. Kalau tengok kat sini, it's a waste process. Ini sebelum dia kena jalan belakang ni batu basah ni okey batu letak sini jadi dia banyak pekerjaan yang tak tambah nilai ya jalan kan waktu tutup then uh, you put that component ni welding welding plant eh uh, body assembling part of component kereta punya penim bagian kecil ya. Plan. Buka balik, adjust balik. Okey, so. So bandingkan dengan yang ni. Okey, ni baru punya dah tutup. Tutup. Improve version of the process whereby memang kita buat improvement dekatkan tepat komponen uh, tu dan dan mengelakkan dia daripada mencari dan juga bergerak lah kan. There are many methods of doing, doing the data collection lah. Eh. This is uh, part of the data collection. Kita boleh visualize daripada atas dan uh, ambil masa eh. This is time. This are used in industry. Alright. Hmm. Okay, I think I'm going to uh, talk about how these things are being transferred and adapted to construction industry. Lean construction is nothing but the method of production and uh, uh, production and building of material, building of uh, uh, what you call construction of buildings, infrastructure, and so on, aim at reducing cost. So in in uh, 2000, before end of 1990s, lean were actually introduced in uh, into construction industry secara formal ya, secara formal. And the same concept is actually eliminate waste, add value, same thing. Principles of lean construction, the desired outcome will be maximize the value, same thing. So it's basically 
similar to lean manufacturing principles. And it says there, use what is necessary without extra. So, you know, same uh, concept and principles. Only thing is this. Okay, the only thing is certain things which are not applicable in construction needs to be adapted and also no, not, not used. Lah, eh. Okay. Uh, macam tadi lah, hey Jungka. Hey Jungka tak boleh pakai dekat after new construction. Eh. There is an institute, Lean Construction Institute. Pernah dengar? Pernah dengar? Akmal pernah dengar? Akmal. Akmal tidur ni. Okay, panggil orang lain pula lah. Ah, Aiman, pernah dengar Aiman? Lean Construction Institute. Pernah dengar? Hmm. Ha? No. Pernah dengar tak? Tak pernah dengar? Baru saya sebut. Tak pernah dengar. dengar. Baru saya sebut. Tak pernah dengar. Baru saya sebut. Lean Construction Institute. Pernah dah dengar daripada saya. Saya pun sebut tadi. <laughs> okay. So this is this is transforming UK construction. Saya tak tahu sama ada ada tak link construction institute di in Malaysia. I'm not, I'm, saya tak pasti. Eh. So the aim is actually to maximize customer value, minimize waste. Same concept. Okay. We look at this video, which is actually from Lean Construction Institute. Same concept being implemented to construction. Hi, I'm Victor Sanvito of Southland Industries. We've been working in a broken industry that has declined in production efficiency over the last 50 years. Mm, Projects are frequently over budget and delivered yes, late. We suffer 800 deaths and thousands of injuries each year. In response to customer and supply chain dissatisfaction, mm. Lean Integrated Project Delivery has been created as a relationship-based system. It is founded on commitments and accountability that improves trust and builds a more satisfying experience every step of the way. Teams are integrated through collaborative tools and search for ways to eliminate waste, specifically at the handoff of work. Teams seek to continuously improve through reflection. Lean IPD processes are designed to remove variation and create continuous workflow to drive significant improvement in predictability, all while strongly encouraging respect for all people involved. These practices ultimately lead to higher quality, lower cost projects. Partners come together in a collaborative environment and learn to function as one team by creating long-term business partnerships. These lean construction concepts have been explained in a book titled Transforming Design and Construction. Mm. Over the course of a series of videos highlighting key chapters from the book, you'll learn the components of lean construction that can improve your business and take our industry to a higher level of efficiency and productivity. I encourage you to watch the videos and share them with your teams. For more... So, it's the same thing. Cuma cuma dia punya dia punya adaptation eh di lean, lean construction institute uh, saya pergi website dia dan saya dapati bahawa dia menyediakan training training macam ni macam ni eh? lean construction module introduction to lean and then uh, of course describe lean from construction perspective of course lah eh? that is uh, very important eh? uh, problem solving and continuous improvement uh, apply a structured approach to identify and describe a problem and then dia pergi kepada 5s in workplace Maknanya construction industry ni sangat penting 5S. Kalau tak ada 5S, datang crane. Crane nak 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 pasang tak boleh crane. Lepas tu, you know, dia the, the interrupt dengan dia punya work. So, construction lagi kena buat 5S. Saya eh, tak, tak, tak faham kenapa construction tak buat 5S. Itu saya, sampai hari saya pening kepada saya tengok. Saya pergi kat Jepun bersih. Construction in, site in Japan is very clean and very systematic. Eh. Uh, Lean construction module number four is uh, a waste. Lean construction and waste, right? Visual management. Yang tadi lah, as dengan apa ni, uh, signboards, dengan uh, graphs and so on. And this saya tak sebut lah, standardized work. Standardized work ni dia kena kita dengan lebih detail lagi lah. It's, it's actually work study. Kalau dalam industri engineering, kita panggil sebagai work study. Ataupun motion and time study. And then collaborative planning and then value stream mapping. So these are the tools in uh, lean manufacturing yang dah ada pakai, yang banyak pakai. Saya cuma tak sebutlah ni tool eh, ni pun tool, ni BSM, value stream mapping. And they come up with this this uh, pillars as well, JVM, sorry. JVM consultant ni dia come up with this uh, uh, TPS punya uh, 
apa orang kata mana pun gila dia ni pillars eh pillar of link construction depan link construction sama aja same thing okay so the, it is about collaborative working it's about consistent workflow it's about continuous improvement but only tak ada hejungka lah hejungka tak ada JIT pun dia tak pakai sangat tak apalah it's okay it's, it doesn't mean that you must exactly be JIT but there are ways ways of construction ni sama this is study this is research study okay internet ni dah slow sikit dah nampak tak nampak ha huh? Nampak. We can identify the ways macam ni lah time spent waiting for other work crews to finish their particular conversion process. So the 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 context is same. You know, it's only the type of activity that you do in construction. Okay, excess inventory, sama aja excess inventory of construction component, same. Okay, if you go and go on for this, the other this. Ah, uh, ni saya dah sebut lah. Yeah, in, instead of the hejungka and also collaborative, you use last planner system. Okay, I see a lot of construction uh, consultants actually they they introduce this pool production in TPS pakai last planner. They have this uh, the milestone and then they have this uh, set milestone, specify hand off. There is this weekly work. Look ahead. Ni should do, should do, can do, will do, and have done. Did what they have done? They use it as a learning lesson learned for improvement. Okay. Kalau kita production, kita tengok satu problem dan kita buat dia punya improvement as as a project lah. Macam here, here is probably you know what you have done and you actually do the feedback so that you don't repeat the mistake. Okay. Right. So this is this is. TPS in construction. Saya ada video, ada dua video. Sekejap saya nak tunjukkan dua video yang ni VSM for construction and underground part 9. Ini ni VSM, value stream mapping. It's a tool. It's a tool. It's, you can can create this, you can develop this. But of course depend on the uh, the the data eh, and the information that is used. Saya ni tengok ada truck kan ni, nampak gambar truck, gambar apa ni, uh, what do you call uh, screen to what
you can yes you can you can go video the video look at the video anyway so coming back to what i have been emphasizing is actually about how to create, create excellence in construction so this is actually a business excellence framework you can incorporate all the drivers for change the leadership you know the uh, quality driven agenda and then the target for improvement the key if you want to be successful as uh, as this uh, construction managers okay just focus on this key areas in all organization is actually quality cost delivery safety productivity if you can understand this concept di mana-mana saja kalau kamu kerja okey macam mana nak meningkatkan quality macam mana nak mengurangkan kos Bagaimana nak buat kerja itu lagi mudah? Delivery, macam mana nak sampaikan kepada pelanggan dengan cepat? Safety, construction, so very, you know, reducing accidents. Okay, so then those are the kind of things that you 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 will need uh, to to be successful. Uh. Okay, so explore new technologies and new knowledge in other engineering field macam trees. Kalau pernah dengar lah, TRIZ sekarang lagi RR 4.0. Jadi kita kita punya tanggungjawab ni besar apabila kita graduate eh. Jangan ingat kita kita berhenti belajar apabila kita habis 4 tahun eh. Tak ada. Lepas 4 tahun tu maksudnya baru masa mula nak belajar. Jangan ingat 4 tahun apa ni habis degree ni boleh boleh apa selesai masalah semua masalah kerja masalah dunia tak boleh. Okey. Uh, right, so develop continuous improvement system. A lot of research opportunities. Eh? The Japanese word for human development is actually Hito Zukuri. Hito means man, Zukuri means make or build, eh? build, build humans. I've given you some uh, examples of papers that actually can be used as reference. Eh? There are books that can be referenced. Uh, you know, scan dan banyak buku link kat Asia pun dah banyak. I'm going to end my talk. Uh, I think uh, this is a nice view. Pakai kamera phone saya je. Tapi saya suka ambil gambar yang yang pelik-pelik ah. Dan tu adalah saya di Jepun. This was last year when I went for graduation. Not last year, two years ago when I was still dean of uh, Razak Faculty eh, in UKM. Okay, saya tengok Asyik Ak Nur, Nur Akilah, eh, dia pun dah risau, dah bila lah prof ni nak berhenti. Aku nak time masa aku nak sini. <laughs> saya, saya, saya faham sangat, saya tahu. Tapi saya cakap tadi, saya boleh cakap 5, 5 jam saya boleh cerita pasal ni. Eh. 2 jam, 3 jam tu tak sempat ni. Eh. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, that is the, the gist of my talk. You know, if you have any questions, please feel free to um, you know, put in uh, ask. Huh? Apa pun saja soalan, dipersilakan. Jadi saya, terima kasih. In Japanese, we say arigato gozaimasu. Nanti saya boleh berbahasa Jepun sedikit lah, insya Allah boleh. Nihongo dekimas. Dari tak nihongo dekimas kah? Ada siapa-siapa dalam ni boleh nihongok? Nihongok wakarimasu kah? Merekanan ni. Okey. Okey, itu saja. Terima kasih banyak-banyak atas perhatian. Terima kasih. Jadi saya bukalah. Saya serah baliklah kepada apa ni, uh, uh, acara majlis. Alright. Okay, Alhamdulillah. Thank you very much to Prof uh, Sha'ari for the very informative and helpful helpful sharing just now. As for the sharing just now, it can be concluded that implementation lean in work in the construction management or studies able to maintain the quality of work of a person or group itself. So the program will be continued with a Q&A session by the participants. Uh, for attendees and students who are interested in asking questions are welcome to ask questions. Uh, you may turn on your mic or you can leave a questions in the chat room. Uh, but uh, first of all, uh, here I would like to share the questions uh, by myself, <laughs> which is uh, 
prof uh, mm. some people argue about the uh, lens construction itself uh, yang mereka percaya uh, lens construction ni uh, in uh, dibina untuk uh, build uh, so quickly and efficiently efficiently mm -hmm. so that's why corners are being cut sebagai contohnya um, less than appropriate materials are being uh, used and won't last as long as uh, traditional materials, meaning the project itself won't hold the same longevity. So, uh, apa pendapat Prof Berkedaan so, uh, argument tu? Soalan ni adalah, link corruption dibina untuk cut corner lah. Cut corner, oh, yes. Yes. Is, uh, is modified. Kaedah sekarang yang dipakai ni yang sebelum lin ni ada masalah defect tak? Ada tak masalah defect? I believe ada. Ada. Dia pakai lin tu. Sebelum sebelum lin ni lah. Rumah saya ni sudah tak ada pakai lin pun defect banyak. That, that is wrong. That is wrong thinking. Because uh, it is not about when we say reducing waste, it doesn't mean reducing the, 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 the amount of material. That's very wrong thinking. Okay, so whoever, uh, siapa consultant yang pakai kaedah ni, patut dipancung. Ataupun siapa company, uh, company that actually pro promote uh, lean, lean means less material, salah. Dia, dia kefahaman dia dan juga orang yang ajar dia ni, ajaran sesat. To me, they have been trained and also not been given the proper knowledge about what lean construction is all about. Have you seen just now, waste is not about, okay, material ni kita kualiti tinggi sangat, kualiti tinggi sangat, kita kurang dengan kualiti dia. Salah! Salah! Itu salah. Itu adalah pemikiran belum lean pun orang dah buat benda tu jadi sekarang ni masalah saya rasa akan berlaku adalah mungkin lah eh, dia gunakan lean sebagai satu lagi peluang kan so i think this is uh, you know the industry must correct this the industry must correct this perception of lean equals to less material no lean doesn't mean less material lean mean using material efficiently effectively correctly that is that is the the thinking you cannot cannot apa ni kalau siapa cakap tu saya suruh jumpa saya siapa yang apa ni yang yang rasa tu boleh jumpa saya saya boleh bagi ajar dia betul betul ha ni kalau nak kalau nak menuntut dengan saya ilmu nak datang ada datanglah rumah saya saya boleh didik sampai dia masuk kat kepala benak dia bahawa pemikiran itu adalah pemikiran yang salah ajaran sesat <laughs> so that that you know that thinking is uh, totally wrong. Kalau pencerah yang ngaca tu buat pencerah tu mendapat ajaran sesat. I'm sorry, because when you talk about apa ni uh, waiting time, so you reduce waiting time. How to reduce waiting time? You know, it's about all about coordination, coordination and collaboration. If things are coordinated, contohnya lah kita buat jalan raya. Jalan raya tu dah siap. Tiang elektrik tu ada lagi. Tiang elektrik tu. Maknanya kerja tak coordinated. There is no coordination between the stakeholders and the people who are doing the work. So kena be careful. I I I dispute that. I dispute that and uh, you know uh, you need to be corrected. So all of you, your job is to make sure that you get the right message and the right, the right, uh, what we call uh, principles and philosophy. Pasafah kena betul, prinsip kena betul. Sama juga dalam hidup kan. Kalau prinsip tak betul, uh, semua ada langgar. Semua ada langgar. Duit pun ada gambar. Corrupted bribes. Bawah apa ni, uh, ni, uh, ni tak ni duit kopi tak apa, duit kopi, minum kopi. Itu haram tu dalam Islam. Rasuah tu haram. Kalau nak masuk 
Melaka, apa silakan. Prinsip. Ah, okay, next question. <laughs> Uh, okay, if there are any questions from the students, uh, you may ask uh, right now. Assalamualaikum, Doctor. Ah, 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 saya Akmal Daniel. Ah, okay. Uh, untuk link konkret ni macam yang Doktor cakap, uh, ada pasal uh, sistem yang kurangkan masa, effort. Bukan link dengan... konkret, Akmal. Bukan link konkret. Dan link construction. Uh. Ah, saya dengar tadi link konkret. Saya tak ada link konkret. <laughs> Ah, okay. Saya penat juga, saya sejam ni cakap kali ni kosong acian dengan ni manufacturing Kamu cakap dia kongkong ah. Saya silap saya, okay ah, ah, Okay, atau apa beza dia dengan Dengan apa, industri building system ah. So dalam apa? industri kosong acian hari ni Apa berlaku adalah, macam tadi lah sebenarnya video yang saya tak cakap tadi tu Adalah berkaitan sedikit tentang IBS IBS is actually making the component standardized So it's going into manufacturing. So construction punya components are now being standardized. So dalam kilang tu sebenarnya kita boleh buat banyak lim. Kerana ia adalah kilang pembuatan. Cuma bahannya bahannya adalah komplit. Bahannya adalah besi. Kalau tak kilang kereta, bahannya benda untuk kereta lah tapi ni adalah IBS. IBS memang boleh pakai lim construction dalam ni. Okay? So that is my opinion lah in, in terms of the manufacturing itself. Dan kalau pasal dekat, it is it's towards lean lah. If you ask me, IBS is towards lean punya thinking. It's very good. We should have done this 30 years ago. Not not uh, 10, uh, 10 years or 5 years. Betul? Uh, betul itu jawab Dr. Soran tak, Akmal? Ah, betul, betul. Ha, dia dia memang sangat selari dengan lean dan tetapi cuma dalam kilang buat IBS tu kena fikir macam mana nak buat produk tu secara efisien. Tidak ada bahan buang, tidak ada uh, masa menunggu yang banyak. Jadi uh, there is production, there is um, making to order. Eh. You just make to order, you don't make. Uh, Tadi lah uh, make to order kan, dia tak buat lebih pun. The beam dia perlu ni, size ni. Tu je dia buat. Dia tak buat lebih daripada tu pun. Okay. Uh, okay, Prof. Uh, there's a question in the chat box by Miss Nur Ili Izian. Uh, mm -hmm. She asked, in your opinion, Prof, so far what percentage of lean management system has been used or implement in Malaysia, especially in construction sector? Lean management system has been widely quite widely used in manufacturing okay uh, i don't have the exact percentage but i've seen many companies implementing lean in manufacturing industry for example you know in proton in uh, produa uh, all the suppliers to produa and then kita tadi dalam video kan intel tapi construction industry ni saya pun tak i don't have i don't have a figure i do not know how many percent Silap silap, less than 10%, less than 5%. It's still new. We do not have, do we have link Construction Institute uh, Malaysia? Ada ke? Saya, saya pun tak pasti. Uh, ada apa ni, link, link Institute, uh, what do you call, Malaysia ada, link Construction, sorry, link Construction. So I, I cannot give you uh, an exact answer. Do not know how many percent. But I, I suspect it is very low. Okay, I suspect it's very low unless uh, apa ni, uh, you know, people who are doing research in the construction in Malaysia in UPHM or in uh, can 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 highlight to me the percentage lah. Percentage lah. Low, I think it's low. All right, thank you, Prof. Uh, so, uh, if there are any question from the first participants. Okay. Uh, doktor, saya ada soalan. Siapa tu? Syakir. Ah, ya. Okay, soalan pendek je. Okay. Memang lean construction, memang lean punya sistem ni, hmm. memang datang dari Toyota. Kenapa doktor ambil Toyota? Kenapa doktor tak ambil Honda? Kenapa doktor tak ambil Ford? Banyak lagi company-company lain kan. Saya tengok yang macam lah, lebih kurang macam ada lean punya ni. Tapi memang asas lean ni, 
punya Jadi kan dalam memang sejarah asal dia daripada Toyota. Toyota. Ha, memang dia datang daripada Toyota. Memang tak ada lain daripada lain sebelum ni memang Toyota first yang buat dulu. Dia kan saya sebut tadi bahawa uh, dalam sejarah tadi cuba ceritakan saya apa saya cakap dalam sejarah tadi. Mas Syakir. Um, Toyota. 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 Okey. Ha, Syakir, Syakir, Syakir jawab. Yang Jadi, Toyota. Siapa, siapa yang invent Toyota production system? Siapa yang invent Toyota production system? Toyota lah kan? Dah Toyota, namanya Toyota. Toyota production system. Jadi Toyota production system was invented and the Americans went to US and study Japanese punya ni. Walau memang dia pergi ke dia pergi ke Jepun and specifically they went to Toyota. And of course their supplies and so on kan. And they produce this book. So the first term coin is by this person, Lean Production. Woman Angels and Rules. Jadi Lean ni adalah hasil daripada kajian tentang Toyota. Specifically lah eh. Memang daripada Toyota production system lah. But they don't, they don't want to call this Toyota production system, the story of Toyota production system. Tak ada. They nak to this, okay. Uh, what do you call, the story of Toyota production system lah. Maksud dia tukar nama Lean lah. Because it's about Lean. It's about trying to reduce waste. Right? So it's actually coming from Toyota. It's not coming from Honda. Of course, Honda has their own system. Mitsubishi pun. Proton, training, masa saya training di di di, di, di Mitsubishi tu adalah uh, tidak pakai lean. Ha, Syakir. Syakir. Ha? Uh, okay. dia, dia, dia dia pakai sikit-sikit lah, tapi dia tak panggil it as a Toyota production system atau Mitsubishi production system. Dia tak panggil pun. Dia tak bukukan pun. Dia tidak dokumentan pun. So it is it is it's coming from Toyota. Unless kamu buat research lah. Okay, you buat research. You beritahu saya bahawa dia tak datang daripada Toyota, Prof. Dia datang daripada lain lah. Kamu buat research, kamu beritahu saya lah. So basically, yang macam apa yang orang Amerika datang Jepun this way, dia nampak efficiency lah sebenarnya. Lepas tu dia buy term lean hmm. production. Yeah, yeah. Lepas tu itulah jadi nama lean production kan. Ha, so dia nampak saya. Jepun pun efficiency tinggi. Tentu je lah. Itu maksud saya lah. Tapi dia, dia sebenarnya alih ke kemudian. Sebenarnya nothing pun. Toda production system pun dia tak buat uh, new system pun. Basically saya ni industrial engineer. Jadi basically dia hanya uh, Selain ni tak ada lah. They come out with only industry. They perfected industry engineering. Okay. Kamu buat satu kajian. Jadi saya kata they perfected industrial engineering. Industrial engineering is actually the study of systems of man, machine, material, and how to not only efficient but effective productivity and quality at the same time. So they they apa ni? They ensure that they achieve uh, high morale, high quality. You know, they don't follow like totally American way of doing things. They they ad they adopted uh, and adapted some new things. So they perfected that new. Uh, so Toyota, that's what the journey. Uh, some some researcher pun sebut benda tu lah. They actually because they copy from the S four benda tu. It's not totally hundred percent from the pen. Okay. Hey, ini mau. Masih ada. Ini ada question. You can email me. You know, minta doktor T. Mang email you can ask me any any question. Doktor T, any question? No. Okay. Okay, masih prof atas perkongsian tu. To be honest, is a rather new thing for me as well. You hear about this all the time, kan? Lean yeah. management, lean management. Tapi yeah. first time betul-betul dengar uh, penjelasannya. 
And uh, I think uh, it's very enlightening. Um, Prof. Bertokan tadi uh, dua konsep ya. Satu ialah tentang uh, waste. Kalau apa nama tu, uh, kurangkan the waste in the construction is not necessarily lean management. No, it's not lean management. Betul. And number two is for IPS. Now, uh, of course, in the construction industry sekarang, in Malaysia, uh, IPS is a very, apa nama orang kata, the trendy thing uh, to do. And uh, how many years it took us, uh, how many years it took the Malaysian construction industry to actually accept adopt and finally uh, almost like um, implement it uh, rather at a full swing to near uh, mode. Uh. Yeah. And, uh, and coming to think of it, if uh, the next step probably if they could adopt, the construction industry could adopt this lean management, then we are moving to the next level. Uh. It's, and uh, it's, it's, the first for us also, yeah, they put yeah. other, uh, the, uh, the manufacturing yeah. in the manufacturing industry uh, that is started off with this uh, from the, the uh, automobile industry and then move on from there. So maybe the construction industry being a more so construction is a very uh we've got complex uh here yeah, uh multidisciplinary yeah? involves so many people, so many, so many people, so many, so many different parties. So maybe that uh, that is more demand. I mean you lucky you could look at something. Uh, and, I think my line yeah, is very good, then, yeah. Uh, Thank so I maybe I suggest that why don't you know UPHM lead the lean Real construction science, punya uh -huh. lean construction uh, punya research and also uh, collaboration dengan industry full swing lean construction. I can I can uh, saya bukan construction jadi saya tak tahu apa prosesnya kan but I have a full about the call understanding about lean uh, concept and so on lah. So. It's, it's opportunity. It's a it's a peluang yang sangat besar untuk betul betul uh, impact on uh, you know the construction. Kalau kamu tengok tadi video dah kata kan construction industry face this uh, wastage, this losses, this uh, not delivery on time. All these are inefficiencies. They're just wasting money. And then you know this government punya projects. You, you introduce lah lean construction to the government and you know try to. Make the government lean as well, lah. No, not seventy ministers and government is even wasting a lot of our funds. You know, lean concept they don't even understand. Nah, to sideline on the side. Okay, ada apa apa? Ada apa lagi? Ada apa persoalan? Persoalan yang 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 cepu mas. Soalan susah lah. Ah, uh, saya tanya lah. Ah. Uh... Macam saya ambil daripada uh, soalan daripada Nur Eli Izian tadi Dia kata percentage of lean management system has been used in Malaysia Macam mana nak kita nak cuba Malaysia ni pakai lean management ni dekat Malaysia ni Banyak dekat Malaysia ni Macam IBS dia nak ambil masa untuk naik pun agak lama juga no. Lagi uh, lagi kan sebab sekarang kontraktor, kontraktor, pemaju semua pakai uh, traditional method hmm. So macam mana agak-agak prof uh, boleh Macam mana nak so lean management ni boleh berjaya dekat Malaysia ni uh, ha. Kalau kalau sama sekali, kalau nak berjaya Dia ada dua cara je kalau kita nak cara Satu dia menjadi policy, policy. Jadi kita kena pergi ke CIDB Atau pergi ke JPR lobby buat kuat dan uh, siapa yang tak ada lean tak dapat projek contoh lah siapa kan uh, ataupun jadikan dia sebagai satu undang-undang itu pasal uh, itu tak JKKT or OSHA OSHA 1994 1994 Occupational Safety and Health Act 1994 sebelum tu precursor dia Factory Machineries Act FMA 1967 uh, berapa kat UN orang dah berpuluh ratus tahun duk ni kita baru sekarang nak ni so policy change as well as awareness do you have a subject of lean construction in UTHM? do you have? if not, you create a subject lean construction so lobby, awareness, create the mass, critical mass kena ada 10-20 researchers dalam bidang itu saya tak risau lean manufacturing, berpuluh-puluh researcher kita ada Kita punya PhD punya banyak, saya dah buat PhD lean manufacturing, berlambak So you create the interest Interest ni 
banyak researcher lepas tu create consultant company ha, jadi Akmal bila kamu graduate kamu buat consultant company Akmal Lean Construction Associate ha, jadi jadi bila kamu ni saya adalah consultant kepada Lean Construction ha, jadi kamu nak belajar apa nak saya ikut ini saya akan ikut apa ni LCI UK punya modul okey kita perkenalkan kat Malaysia banyak cara banyak cara nak tandak aja Malaysia ni tu lah masalah dia lah. Jadi kena 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 buat kerja lah tu je. Tak buat kerja tak ada apa-apa lah. Tak, tak dapat tu ni. But in manufacturing in Malaysia, in manufacturing, yes we are apa ni uh, we, are, we are doing lah. There's a lot of things, a lot of activity. There are research group, there are and even lean in healthcare. Lean in healthcare dekat Uni KL. Uni KL Pasir Gudang ex student saya Dr Mazlan involved in lean in healthcare. Jadi lean healthcare dah ada dah orang take care. Lean manufacturing okeylah insyaallah lah UTM UKM kan. Jadi saya serahkan kepada UTHM lah buat lah lean construction. Lepas tu you all construction management. Memang tempat yang cantik nak buat lean construction. Hmm, dah sejam 20 minit. <laughs> Akilah dah tengok jam dah ni. Okey 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 ada saran ni tak? Ah tu tu jawapan saya ke mana? Kalau tak nak timo pun tak apalah itu saranan dan apa ni ni. Polisi kena ada, kalau ada peraturan undang lagi bagus. Kalau ada kalau nak minta duit bank loan okey tak ada ni. Pakai LPS. Tadi saya tengok LPS tu adalah satu sistem yang bagus lah Last planner system ni kan. Saya tak tahu kat a uh, construction. Kamu pernah dengar ke last planner system tu? Ke ada yang pernah ajar saya? Saya bukan construction jadi saya tak pasti ah. Planner system tu ada kat dalam ada betul. LPS ada. Ada ada. Masa mana diploma saya ada belajar. Tapi ha. saya tak berapa ingat sangatlah. Ah okey. Then cari company kata nanti buat LI ke buat research ke buat LPS. Buat LPS. Perkenalkan LPS dulu. Pasal kalau orang tak faham LPS, mungkin boleh from SPS oh dia tengok oh dia sebenarnya lean. Ah dia go for lean. So mula-mula dia buat dia pakai software tu kan dia, dia pakai 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 tapi kita lepas tu kita selit pula kita kata oh ni kena fikir pasal waste ini hanya scheduling saja so you you start learning and picking up and introducing bit by bit ha? kalau orang tak boleh buat semua sekali jangan tinggalkan semua sekali tu pun kaedah dalam Islam juga kan <laughs> kalau tak boleh buat semua jangan tinggalkan semua ha? tu kaedah juga jadi ha, lu fikirlah sendiri ada lagi lah nak ada apa lagi ada lagi tak? Uh, Alright, Prof. Uh, there's a question in the chat box. So hmm. I think this is the last question since we are running out of time. Okay. So the question is, uh, Assalamualaikum and hi, Prof. My name is Izika, and from Soil Mechanic and Foundation class. Okay, let's see. One day I want to start my own construction company. So I have to gather a few people who in the same field such as engineer, architect, contractor and so on. Uh, and I'm not sure whether my question is related with our topic today or not. But I have been wondering how to make it possible. How to make it possible to start up the company? Yeah. You are your, your one. I don't think. You too, maybe. Well, you have to find out. Uh, I haven't been in business, so I do not know how business is. You know? So you need to set up the company, you need to set up uh, your network, you need to have uh, people who are, you know, uh, in uh, departments, uh, handling projects, government departments, you know, uh, local authority. So you have to, yeah, dia nak buat bisnes kalau tak salah saya kena network kena rangkaian tu lah kena ni kena luas okay and also you you must understand the law of the country as well right you must follow whatever uh, company registration act dan sebagainya lah so those things are uh, needed and and if for example if you don't have friends in engineer you find friends now in university cari kawan yang engineer Jangan campur orang geotechnik, geoengineering ni. Find your friends in engineering. Find your friend in architect. You know, talk from now. You know, once you have this vision of uh, setting up the company from today, you should get this uh, peni. Pasal kalau orang yang sama pemikiran, dia sedang sedang berjaya. Uh, tu, 
itu apa ni asal ke kan ya. kalau dia dia background dia lain dia bukan background macam saya background dia disiplin tu memang lain lah engineering architect and so on but you know you have commonalities benda-benda yang sama kan so you can go far okey uh, saya nak kena tanya lecturer you nanti lah lecturer yang tanya soalan tadi dia tu ada doktor doktor Hasnah ke tak ya tanya lah doktor doktor yang dekat di PHM tu boleh jawab juga tu saya tak saya tak pernah buat bisnes jadi saya pun tak tahu apa ni company uh, procedures and so on Alright. Okay, okay, lah. hmm. okay, okay, since we are, not, uh, we are running out of time, I hope everyone can understand that not all questions we can answer within this limited time. Okay, thank you to the participants who asked thoughtful questions and thank you again to Prof for being willing to answer the questions given. Okay, for the last session, I uh, requested uh, the cooperation to all audience. Please open the camera for the photography session. Tapi dia ada empat skrin ni. Empat skrin ni. Okey. Nur Akila. Adeni. Okey. Manis Nabila. Tak buka ni. Okey, cameraman. Okey, cameraman can start counting now. Okay, is it done? Uh, okay, remember boleh counting? Yang saya tak buka video okay. ni. Saya One, ready. two, three. Okay, done. Thank you. Alright. All right. Okay. Okay, with this, our talk has come to an end. Hopefully, the program can provide a positive impact on everyone involved directly or indirectly. Let us close our slot with Tasbih Kifara and Surah Al Ars. <laughs> Right, therefore, on behalf of our organizer, Soil Mechanics and Foundation Course, Department of Civil Engineering Technology, JTKA, and Faculty of Engineering Technology, FTK. Thank you, Professor IR, Dr. Sha'ari, Muhammad Yusof, and all for making time in your busy schedules to join us here this evening. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you very much, Prof. Thank you very much, Chi. Thank you, Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Prof. Thank you very much. Thank you, Prof. 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 Thank you